Hi and welcome to Maisonet's official channel. This is a tutorial video for our Magento 2 event ticket integration. In this video, I will guide you step by step how to set up the integration, create an event, and manage it. In the back end, go to Start Configuration and then select Event Tickets. In General Settings, you can set up the ticket code pattern. You can use the two short codes starting with A for alphabet and N for numbers. For example, short code A2 would generate two random alphabet characters and N4 would generate four random positive integers. Additionally, you can add the hard code, for instance, Maisonet 2018. Next, you can choose to update the ticket stock whether after the order is placed or is invoiced. You can also choose the event date format. There are 16 formats available for your choice. You can enable the Google Maps on the event page to show direction to the event location. You must fill in the Google Maps API key. We already put a default key here for you. Configuration Ticket you can set up to generate multiple tickets into one ticket with one code or into multiple tickets with multiple ticket codes. Generate multiple tickets to one code will be more convenient to check in the event for a group buy. Note that all of the tickets will be sent to the purchaser's email address. Finally, it is the reminder email settings. It will send emails to remind your customers about the event. If you enable it, you can set the time to send reminder emails. The unit is number of days. You can select the reminder email templates here, or you can create new email templates in marketing settings. Create new event. Now we'll try to create an event. Going to catalog, products. You can create an event with event ticket product type. Then you can fill the event information. The product price is the default price of the ticket. Later on, I will show you how to add price for multiple ticket options. In the event ticket tab, there are five settings. We'll go into each one. Ticket setup. For the ticket setup, you can apply the locations or schedules to all ticket options. If you have multiple events in multiple locations, then you can add new location. Fill in the location name, address, add the event date and session. You can limit the quantity for each session by clicking here, then fill in the limit number. You can deactivate the location manually here, if necessary, by unselecting active box below the location address. After that, you can add the ticket options. You can add as many options as you need. Fill in the name of the ticket option. Select the input types as drop down, radio button, or checkbox. Then you can add each option with its price. The price can be a fixed price or added percentage of the product price, the quantity of the tickets, and a short description if necessary. You can mark the ticket options as required. So customers will have to select the ticket options before adding it into cart. Template settings. There will be two templates that we need to concern here. Ticket template and the email template. First, with the ticket template, you can use a PDF template from catalog, PDF templates in event management. Or you can customize your new PDF template by enabling this option. You can then upload the PDF background, adjust the page width and height. In the PDF coordinates, choose the information field, fill in the title, set the XY coordinates, font, size, format, color, and alignment for each information. We have another video that explains how to measure the coordinates using a rural application. You can find the link to that video guide in the description box. If you want to preview the customized PDF ticket, Click on Print PDF. You will be able to download a preview PDF file. Going on with the email templates, you can create the new template in Marketing, Email Templates, and select it here. Personal information. In the personal information, you can enable the attendee form on the product page. You can set it as a required fields, so customers will have to fill in the form. If you do not need this feature, you can turn it down by switching the two options to No. 
Report. You can track the sales progress in these two reports. In the summary table, you can view the quantity of tickets sold and the available quantity, along with the current revenue from the event. In the purchase ticket table, you can track all the tickets sold with detailed information. Finally, you can add the terms and conditions for the event. The policy will be displayed right on the product page in the front end. In order to manage the events, navigating to Catalog, Events, you can then track all the event products in the grid table. Then going to the ticket management page, you can search and view all of the tickets sold in the table. You can view the ticket order, resend, or print the ticket in the action column of each ticket. Or you can select multiple tickets and do mass actions. Here you can redeem the ticket manually by updating the status of the selected ticket. We put the links for the customization request and support for this extension in the description down below. So don't hesitate to contact us if you need our assistance. Thank you for watching.